What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Mateo Vlogs. Now, if you guys have not subscribed yet, I highly rec recommend subscribing. We got a lot of 2021 Tesla Model 3, my Tesla Model 3, brand new videos, mods, installs, you guys name it, coming up on the channel. I've had great feedback over the last few weeks now with the launch of the intro video, the performance pedal install video, and the carbon fiber performance um, spoiler install slash mod video. So as you guys can see in front of me right here, you guys are not going to be seeing my beautiful face, unfortunately, today. But I have been getting a lot of recommendations in regards to the beautiful bread and butter of the Teslas. Uh, and that is, as you guys can see, the 15 inch touch screen display. Now today I'm going to be going through this might be a little bit more uh, you know, a longer of a video today, but I'll be going a full in-depth every single button you could possibly hit, every feature, everything that you guys are wanting to know in regards to the touchscreen. Um, I'm going to be going through that today. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and let's get started. So this video is going to be for someone who already owns a Tesla like myself and is looking for a certain feature that they don't know how to turn on or maybe this is a good video to show you all the features. Maybe you're just not knowing exactly everything you can do in regards to this car or this touchscreen or the features or whatever it is. Or maybe you're thinking about getting into a Tesla. You're thinking of buying a Tesla and you know what? Maybe you've seen a lot of videos and you're getting a little anxiety or you're getting anxious because... As you guys can see here, guys, there's no vents, there's no buttons anywhere. Every single button is going to be on this touch screen here. So if pretty much, if you don't know how to work this thing, you're not gonna be able to know how to work uh, the car itself. So this could be for anybody far in between those two people that I just mentioned. But without further ado, let's get started. So as you guys can see right away, the first thing you're gonna see is you're gonna see your car on the left you're gonna see maps on the right. Now, this is such an easy interface. Um, it's hard to explain unless you've actually used a Tesla yourself, but let's start off with the left here, guys. So if you hit this button, the frunk will open, okay? This is lock and unlock of the car. I know it's weird, but that's literally how you unlock and lock the car. If you hit this button here, that's gonna be for the trunk, to open and close the trunk, okay? So for the trunk, you can actually open, okay? I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it did open, okay? And you can close it with this button. And there it goes down right now. I don't wanna hit this button because I don't wanna get out of the car and actually close it, but the front will open, but you're gonna have to get out of the car and push down a couple inches just to close it. Now, this is gonna be for the charging, okay? If you hit this button there, and then the charging will come up. Let's just close that for you right there. Now, I'm not gonna go through the app. Now, the app might be another video that I talk, talk about on all the features you can do on the app because guys there is no key when it comes to the tesla okay the, yes you're getting a physical key card but you're not really using that because you're using the uh the phone tesla app for pretty much everything in regards to controls or climate or locking or unlocking whatever that may be or service or maybe sentry mode so anyways guys let's uh let's get ahead <clears throat> let's continue with the right hand side here as you guys can see you can zoom in and zoom out the touch screen interface guys this must be on the apple software or the apple integration definitely not samsung i'm not a samsung hater um but this is definitely not android uh it's just it's so smooth to the touch you can zoom in zoom out okay now i don't have premium connectivity so it takes a little longer to load but you guys get the gist of it now you are going to see some icons that pop up whatever's i don't know maybe the most popular in the area it's showing you some map or some parks and maybe some groceries but if you zoom out a little bit i don't know if you guys can notice but we do have some red spots here now those are superchargers okay now if you zoom in you might see some superchargers there 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 the number that it shows for instance this one right here it shows a four okay that means there's four superchargers available at that supercharging area. If you click it here, it'll give you everything. So it's got food, it's got washrooms, it's got coffee, it's got shopping, but it says four star stalls available out of 12 stalls. It's great to look at this stuff in regards to supercharging, guys, because you can see what it can cost you, what the idle feels, idle 
fees will be if you sit at the charging station and your car is already fully charged. Now you're just wasting another person's opportunity to charge. It will charge you guys. So it tells you everything here. Okay, and I highly, highly recommend if you are planning to go to a supercharger, always click the supercharger. Don't just drive to it because if you actually navigate to it, you are telling the vehicle to precondition the battery. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, okay, but if I swipe this up and we're ready to drive, it'll say right here, the second I start driving, it's going to say preconditioning vehicle for faster charging. So always, always, always do that, guys. If you guys just drive there without putting it in, I know it sounds stupid. You guys probably know exactly where to go, okay, if you've been there a few times, but you're going to be saving a lot more money in the long run because it's going to precondition the battery to charge a lot quicker okay anyways guys let's move on so <clears throat> if you don't want to see anything you can hit this button up here okay and that just toggles on and toggles off if you want to see the superchargers you just click that button and you can see level three level two or level one superchargers happen to be level three so if you take this off the red will disappear or maybe you got to have both of them on okay superchargers oh there we go there we go so if you just want to see level two, you can put level two. If you don't want to see two, you can click one. Okay. Can you remove two? Yes, you can. I like to just have three showing. So I see exactly where the superchargers, the more, most powerful level three ones are. You can obviously navigate to wherever you want to go. Okay. You got your keyboard, you got your numbers, you can set stuff for favorites. Uh, if you want to feel lucky, it'll take you somewhere hungry. You can set your home, your work, okay, things like that. I want it's pr it's pretty honestly very very basic. If we swipe up on this, guys, we have the radio. These are the favorites that I've put on my radio. Okay, you can go to different stations. You can go to direct tune and put something in yourself. <clears throat> if you click this little arrow right here, you can come out of radio. And you can use Bluetooth, streaming, Spotify, karaoke, TuneIn, Tidal, all these different apps, okay? To be honest, I really just use if my phone's connected the Bluetooth or the radio. Um, but we'll get into the apps a little bit later here down at the bottom. So that's all it comes down to when it comes to the main screen you're really going to see. On the top, you're going to get your battery percentage. You can change that later, which I'll show you, to kilometers left. You got, you know, your is your car unlocked or locked? Right now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. Unlock, Okay. You got your time, your temperature. I got sentry mode currently on right now every time I'm parked. And then we got my name right here. We got my fiance's name right there. And you can also put it on valet mode. So these are the different modes. This is what I highly recommend. First thing you do when you get the Tesla on delivery day, guys, is put in different, um, different users that are gonna be driving. So when I get in the car, the seat's gonna adjust to exactly where I want it. The mirrors are gonna adjust to exactly where I want it. If Trinity gets in the car or if another driver gets in and they click their name, everything will automatically adjust like a computer. So their seat will go to where they had it, their mirrors will go, things like that. All their settings, when it comes to all their settings in the computer, okay, everything will be there. So let's move over to the bottom left, guys. This is honestly the bread and butter if you guys are looking for something. You click this bottom down here, you're gonna have all these different features. It could be overwhelming, okay, but we're gonna quickly go through this. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, you drop them down in the comment section and I'd love to answer them for you. So let's start off on the right here, guys. So under controls, this is gonna be, okay, if you're driving, it's raining, you need a windshield wipers, boom, it's under controls. If you need a lock or unlock, boom. If you need the glove box, boom. Your quick controls, quick quick things you're gonna need while you're driving, it's right here, okay? So obviously, like I said, guys, we're on Mateo, which is my user, okay? Any notifications the car wants to send you if something's not working, we'll go there. You got Bluetooth on or off. Right now, I got my Bluetooth connected, okay? And then you got, uh, are you connected to Wi-Fi or not? Or are you just on uh, <clears throat> no Wi-Fi, okay? So right now I'm on LTE. I don't have premium connectivity. It lasts one month free free of charge, okay? Or you can subscribe, I believe in Canada, it's like $12.99 or $13.99 a month, okay? So top guys, right now my lights, my, my lights are on auto, okay? Now you can have auto, this over here, this button is auto high beam. I do not want auto high beam on, so I'm gonna turn this off, okay? These are your low beams. These are your side markers, okay? 
you can also see it right here guys okay or completely off so completely off there because it's sunny we got low beams they go on okay or auto so right now it's on auto because i don't need lights on i'm parked i'm not driving okay fold your mirrors child lock okay window lock glove box boom opens up the glove box i know it's a tesla there is no literal glove box button on the glove box itself windshield wipers level one level two level three level four or auto how fast do you want it right there okay mirrors adjust your mirrors left and right you're gonna use the left toggle on the steering wheel when you do this kind of stuff here okay you can also do the steering wheel do you want to there's the instructions right there okay i'm currently recording and i have sentry on as you guys can see this is the you know the display brightness right here okay or i just keep it on auto for myself let's go to pedals and steering guys so right now i got it on standard and uh, that's obviously standard if you want acceleration to be chill you can put it on chill it's going to automatically save i like standard just to keep it the way it is steering mode how hard do you want the steering to be i have it on standard you can go a lot more stiff at sport or you can go a lot less stiff on comfort okay stopping mode i love the hold try to keep as much battery as you can and use the brakes as less often as you can so i like doing the hold okay you can do roll or you can do creep just like a regular car it's up to you that's what i love about this car a touch of a button literally changes the way this car drives you cannot do that on any other car slip start used to help free vehicles stuck in the snow sand or mud pretty self-explanatory put that on if you're stuck now we go down to charging guys so this is also very good when you're actually charging. It shows 65% just like it does up here. So there's no need to have this have this display on all the time, okay? If you wanna unlock your charge port, unlock it. If you wanna open it, open it, okay? We're gonna go down here. How many amps is your car currently charging at? Blah, blah, blah. This is more for when um, you're charging the car in the moment, okay? What I do love is though, It'll show you all the uh, supercharging tips, okay, to always get the best bang for your buck, okay? And also, it's going to, let's say I was charging right now, guys, it's actually going to show me $0.03, cents, $0.04, cents, $0.05, cents, $0.06, cents, $0.07. Cents. So if you want to stop at $10, just hit unlock charge port at $10 and you have a budget, okay? Whatever that may be, it's good to see. Let's go down to autopilot, guys. So <clears throat> if you don't really have the 12,000, 13,000, whatever it is, upgrade. This is really not going to mean much. I have auto steer on, which is in the beta still. Okay. I got full self driving visualization, which is going to show while I'm driving all the uh, stop lights and all the cones and, and driving lights and traffic lights, whatever it is, guys. Okay. You can set your speed limit to speed or current speed. I have it on speed limit. You can have your offset on fixed or percentage. I have it on fixed. Okay. Scroll down here, you can put on automatic blind spot camera. So if you click this on and I put my left signal on, this will pop up. If I put my right signal on, you're gonna see your blind spot and it's gonna be over there. I don't need to see that. I use my eyes. Let's just keep going, guys. Blind spot collision warning chime, okay? It'll chime if it sees someone in your blind spot. I do like that, okay? You can have your speed limit warning set to off, display, or chime. Okay, you can also have your speed limit to relative or absolute. I have it on relative. Offset zero. Uh, forward collision warning medium. So as you're about to approach a car and you don't want to rear end them, depending, do you want to be notified late, medium, or early? I just have it on medium. Lane departure avoidance. I have it on warning. I don't need the assist. Okay, and then we got some other ones down here. I have them all on. I think they come already put all on anyways. Let's go to locks, guys. So depending... Uh, it's just showing you how many keys could literally get into the car. We got two of us, so two phone apps and two uh, physical card keys. That's just showing you what it's there. Okay, we got some walk away door lock. So as I walk away, the car will automatically lock. I have that on on. You can have driver door unlock mode if you want, just the driver door. And you can have unlock on park, which I have as well. Okay, so the car will automatically unlock once it's uh, put into park as I'm about to leave or something like that. We got some more down here, guys. Car theft, sorry, car left open notifications. I have that on off. You can have it on doors or doors and window. 
okay? And then lock confirmation sound. I like the sound, so I like to see have that on. And close window unlock, I also like that as well. So it'll close the windows on lock. Let's go over to lights, guys. Kind of already went through headlights on the first page. Dome lights are just the in interior lights. I have them on auto, so as I open the car, it'll go on. As I close it, it'll go off, blah, blah, blah. Auto high beam, I do not, like I said, want that on. Headlights after exit, the headlights will stay on as I leave the car. And then about maybe 30 seconds later, they're going to shut off. And then the steering wheel lights. So if there's little lights, little triangles, little arrows on the steering wheel. I have that set on on at night. I like to see that. All right, guys, next thing is going to be the display. Do you like to have it on auto, which is daytime? So it's like this, which is going to be light. Same thing. Okay. Or do you like dark mode? And that's dark mode right there. I just have it on auto, so at, at nighttime, it'll just go to dark itself. Brightness, I got at 100. Screen clean mode. Let's say you're wanting to clean your screen, guys. You're going to click that button, and boom. Without interfering with any buttons, you're going to clean it up. And if you want to exit, you're going to hold this down. Three, two, one, and you're out. <clears throat> As we go down, English, English, English. Put to whoever you want time i got on 12 hour you can do 24 energy display percentage or distance boom now you got distance now you got percentage miles or kilometers temperature celsius tire pressure psi great customization you can do trips it'll show you all the different trips that you've done in the last who knows how long okay navigation so I don't have any navigation volume on but if i if let's say i were to put in my home and i want to drive there right now okay it'll give you directions through the voice. I don't have that on. Uh, automatic detection, so automatically route to home, work, or next calendar event upon entry. So that's a pretty cool feature. You gotta have your calendar loaded into the car, but um, <clears throat> it'll automatically put the GPS to where you wanna go if you turn that on. Trip planner, add supercharger stops if necessary. I have that on. Online routing, I have that on for the best traffic conditions and that'll only do it if it's five minutes or more. So you can change that to whatever you want. I got five. Avoid ferries, avoid tolls, use HOV lanes. You can set that up uh, if you want those on or off. Down to the safety, guys. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go through all this, but it's pretty, uh, pretty basic. Set your kilometers for speed limit mode if you have that on. Um, you can power off the whole freaking car if you want. Allow mobile access, obviously I have that on. Sentry mode I got on, but excluding home. Dash cam I got on manual, but I have on honk, which means if I honk the vehicle, it'll automatically save 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after, okay? You can delete all the dash cam clips here. <clears throat> Format USB drive. I got park assist chimes on. Joe mode is currently off. A lot of people ask what Joe mode is. If you guys want to pause the video, you can read it right there. Okay, uh, pin to drive. Uh, I do not want that. That's going to be a headache. Uh, glove box pin, that's fine, whatever. And uh, security alarm, I have that. Cabin overheat protection, I have that on off. A cool thing though, guys, if you're going to go on a vacation and let's say you're leaving your car at home, a lot of people don't know that the battery will slowly go down. So let's say you left on vacation on a Monday at 80% battery, you return home the following Monday, it could be at 75. It's not like a gas tank where, you know, the needle is going to be in the exact same spot. You're going to lose battery. It's, it's a, it's, it's a device at the end of the day. Okay. So have this on off. If you want to conserve as much energy as you can, just a little tip service guys, it's just going to show you if I was driving around all the PSIs car wash, car wash mode, turn that on. Um, what car wash mode is going to do is just going to close all the windows, lock everything, make sure no water gets inside, stuff like that. I don't really mess with this service area too much. Um, I, I'm assuming when you bring your car in for service, this is where they, you know, towing, adjust headlights, wheel configuration. One thing I do do, though, is once I switch my wheels over, I'm going to go here and you can choose which wheels you currently have. OK, because it's going to then adapt the car to better or worse range which is cool, okay? Factory reset, wiper service mode. You gotta change your wipers. You can just hit the wiper service mode. And then the guys, last thing here is just showing you how many kilometers, VIN number, um, autopilot, just all these, what software I'm running. And this is 2022 
.4.5.17. So it's just a lot of stuff here. You can actually change the color of your car, which is pretty cool now. So if you actually got like a wrap done to your car and it was red, and instead of looking at white, you could just change it to red, which is awesome. Okay, so anyways, guys, let's end the video down at the bottom. Obviously, we got calls, we got Bluetooth, we got radio, we got uh, what's our surroundings right now. We can take a look. Okay, that's with the cameras. And then we got the dash cam. Okay. And then we got all these crazy different apps. There's always new apps coming out. Um, let's go down to theater. I'll just show you. So you can get all these apps on theater. On arcade, you can get all these apps. Uh, toy box you'll get a whole bunch of cool things you can do to be honest um, you can do different things there's so many things guys I'm not going to bore you guys with all this stuff if you guys have a Tesla you can see for yourself uh, browser and then just you know the internet for stuff like that uh, if we go over to this is a very important one so this is going to be your um, <clears throat> what's it called your temperature you know all that kind of cool stuff so we got fogging on the front, or, or sorry, defrost on the front, on the back, AC on and off. How powerful do you want it? Okay. Um, we've got uh, where you want it to go. You can click the rear and you can see exactly where you want it if you turn the rear fan on. Okay, I'm going to shut that off. We can have the seat warmers down here for the driver, for the passenger. It's just over here. Camp mode, dog mode, and uh, keep it on or off mode you can schedule this if you want but that pretty much sums it up guys so if you guys have any questions whatsoever i know this was you know i went through every single function every single category but um if you guys have any questions whatsoever in regards to this review or any buttons on this display let me know how i did let me know if you have questions i'd love to hear from you guys what do you guys think are certain areas good or certain areas bad just tell me what you're feeling um more videos to come uh on the channel we got a lot more tesla installs mods if you guys got ideas on what you guys want me to do i really gotta tint my windows guys it just seems like a fishbowl in here but uh anyways guys let me know what you guys thought of the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe subscribe is the biggest thing guys i'm trying to grow to 10,000 followers or 10,000 subscribers maybe in the next uh half a year or something like that um but yeah guys i'll catch you guys in the next one peace